Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlight Me. Today we will discuss Kia's new EV3, President Biden's tariff on Chinese EVs, and the Chevy Equinox EV. We will also cover Elon Musk's stance on tariffs, DHL's partnership with Eon, and coral reef restoration efforts using 3D printing. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has frequently changed his stance on U.S. tariffs against China. Initially supporting them to protect U.S. car companies, Musk recently opposed tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles at the Viva Technology Conference in Paris, arguing they distort the market. This inconsistency has raised concerns about his leadership. Despite Tesla's success in China without tariffs, Musk's vacillation extends beyond trade policies. His abrupt decisions, such as firing the supercharger division and ending the referral program, reflect a broader pattern of unpredictability. These shifts have impacted Tesla's stock performance and raised questions about Musk's influence over the company's strategic direction and market stability. As Tesla struggles with EV demand and pricing, the lack of consistent leadership poses significant challenges for the company's future. DHL Group is expanding its electric truck charging infrastructure in Germany through a partnership with energy provider E.ON. The project will establish fast charging stations at DHL locations, incorporating specialized solutions for heavy commercial vehicles. DHL service partners will also have access to the new infrastructure as part of DHL's sustainability strategy, which aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions significantly by 2030. In Shanghai, DHL has launched an EV center of excellence to support the global expansion of Chinese EV companies. This facility will offer end-to-end -end logistics solutions, including battery handling and international transportation. The center is part of DHL's broader initiative to foster innovation and sustainability in logistics, with a dedicated team ensuring compliance with safety and regulatory standards. Professor Amy Wagoner Johnson, a materials scientist at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, is spearheading a global initiative for coral reef restoration. Drawing on her expertise in 3D printing human bone scaffolds, Johnson is exploring the use of 3D printed materials for coral restoration. Artificial reefs, such as those made from old hard drives or tires, have historically leached harmful chemicals. Johnson emphasizes the need for suitable materials like calcium carbonate and trace elements that support coral larvae attachment and growth. Her team is also experimenting with floating geodesic domes that can be relocated to optimize conditions for coral survival. Restoring reefs is complex and requires contributions from various scientific disciplines to address the multifaceted challenges. Up next, we're exploring fleet EV management. Fleet managers now face more complex responsibilities with the integration of EVs into their fleets. This includes managing connectivity, software, data mining, and overseeing EV operations to enhance productivity and minimize costs. Key tasks involve monitoring EV charging, battery state of charge, electricity rate fluctuations, and managing charging equipment. David Lewis, CEO of MoveEV, suggests that home charging can save time and cut costs, countering the misconception that expensive Level 2 chargers are necessary. For low-mileage drivers, Level 1 chargers suffice, while high-mileage drivers might benefit from non-networked Level 2 chargers. Company-owned networked chargers are less favorable due to higher costs, liability, and connectivity issues. A decision tree approach helps fleet managers select cost-effective and efficient charging solutions tailored to their drivers' needs. And now, pivot our discussion towards automotive news. Kia's new EV3, a subcompact SUV, will debut in the US with a base price of $35,000, featuring front drive recycled materials, fast charging, and an 81.4 kilowatt-hour battery. It promises an approximate 300-mile range. 
The EV3 follows the design language of the EV6 and EV9, offering a spacious interior with advanced tech like a 30-inch driver cluster, AI voice assistant, and V2L capabilities. Competing with models like the Toyota BZ4X and Subaru Solterra, the EV3 aims to stand out with its stylish design and cutting-edge technology. Expected US release is post-2025, with a target of 80,000 units. President Biden's 100% tariff on Chinese EVs is reminiscent of past US responses to foreign car competition. In the 1970s, during the OPEC oil crisis, Japanese automakers like Toyota, Nissan, and Honda thrived by providing affordable, fuel-efficient cars that American manufacturers couldn't match. As in the past, American car makers now cater to the wealthiest 20%, leaving the average consumer reliant on older used cars. Biden's tariff decision appears driven by union pressures and institutional sinophobia, rather than economic or environmental benefits. Historically, welcoming foreign automakers to build in the U.S. has proven beneficial, but current policies seem to repeat past mistakes, neglecting the broader population's needs. The Chevy Equinox EV is poised to be a value-driven electric vehicle, targeting Chevy's core segments. With over 300 miles of range, it competes well against the Nissan LEAF in terms of range, room, battery cooling, charging speed, and style. While lacking features like heated seats in its base model, the Equinox's affordability may attract bears from Tesla, Hyundai, and Kia. However, GM's absence of LFP batteries could be a drawback. The vehicle has manual adjust front seats, a high quality responsive screen, and a mix of physical and touchscreen controls. Its starting price of under $28,000 is significantly lower than competitors, but production volume and availability will be crucial to its success. The lack of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is a minor issue for some, but the Super Cruise system is praised as a top hands-free driving feature. A new California law mandates intelligent speed assistance systems in all new cars. Senate Bill 961, authored by Senator Scott Weiner, requires devices that alert drivers with a chime and visual cue when they exceed the speed limit by over 10 miles per hour. Unlike electronic limiters, this system only alerts, not restricts. The bill, based on recommendations from the National Transportation Safety Board, American Academy of Pediatrics, and AIA aims to counter rising traffic deaths. It follows similar regulations in the European Union. The bill passed the Senate 22 to 13 and now heads to the Assembly, with potential implementation by 2032. Separately, California is testing a per mile tax to replace the gas tax, affecting all vehicles, including electric ones. Coming up, we're diving into the safety concerns. Federal safety regulators have identified nine more incidents questioning the safety of Waymo's self-driving vehicles in Phoenix and San Francisco. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration Office of Defects Investigation opened an investigation earlier this month into Waymo's autonomous vehicle software after receiving 22 reports of robo-taxis making unexpected moves leading to crashes and potentially violating traffic safety laws. The investigation, designated as a preliminary evaluation, examines the software's ability to avoid collisions and respond to traffic safety control devices. Since opening the investigation, regulators added nine incidents involving collisions with gates, utility poles, and parked vehicles, and driving in the wrong lane. The Office of Defects Investigation is concerned these behaviors may increase crash risks. While no injuries have been reported, several incidents involved collisions with visible objects a competent driver would avoid. Waymo has until June 11th to respond to the investigation. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. 
Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious. Stay enlightened.